Hello! After watching the three videos and uh, reading chapter 8, the counseling sessions were very similar to what I imagined them to be. Uh, for the most part, at least, that it was a very calm environment, um, the skills that the counselors used aligned with what I had just read. Um, and I think this is because I ha was in counseling for a short period of time and the vibe and how things rolled seemed very, very similar to me. Uh, so the skills that I saw um, and the characteristics of a counselor from chapter 8 included eye contact. They all paid very close attention. Um, I didn't ever really see them like looking away. Um, they were always zeroed in on the client. They often checked their understanding. The counselor would summarize or restate what their client had just said uh, to better understand the client's feelings and what they were communicating. Um, they asked very open-ended questions, such as, uh, talk to me a little bit more about or share with me your reasoning for coming in today, uh, just to help the clients open up and to be able, give them space to be able to explain um, what they were feeling. Some characteristics I saw at the counselor um, was trust and empathy. They listened really well and they summarized what the client was communicating and I felt like that showed proof that they cared and that they wanted to understand what the client was feeling. Uh, also, I saw empathy in the uh, counselor affirming what the client was feeling. I remember in the uh, in the homesick video, um, the counselor like affirmed the client's feelings by saying, it can be very scary. Uh, being open and vulnerable with others. I also saw them all stay very neutral, um, keeping neutrality in their tone of voice and their facial expressions. None of them overtly shared their personal opinion uh, through any of those aspects. Some similarities that I saw between the videos were most, most of the skills that I just said, the neutrality that they kept, the open-ended questions, um, that great eye contact, checking of understanding, and the very calm and warm environment that the counseling session seemed to have. Some differences I saw were in the flow or pace of the session. Some moved along a little bit faster, while some were a little bit slower, and it seemed like they had um, attentive silence to give space to the client to maybe share a little bit more naturally. And then also, um, I noticed a difference in um, in some of the sessions, it seemed like the client was talking the most and kind of guiding the flow of the session. And then in some, it seemed like the client and the counselor spoke about the same amount. Mm, excuse me. Um, and then, so a question that I have is, how do you train yourself to be uh, neutral? I think I'm so used to being a cheerleader and an encourager and being positive and showing that on my face and in my tone of voice. Um, so I feel like that's something I'm going to have to work on, and I'm curious about how you trained yourself to do that. Uh, and then I'm also curious about, like, the flow of a session. What if a client doesn't want to talk? <laughs> um, is it weird to have dead space? What do you do if that happens? So, thank you.